Today I'm going to show you some practical Montessori activities for toddlers. These activities are easy to set up and will keep your toddler engaged for hours. So let's get started. The first activity is a pouring station. Toddlers love to pour things and this activity allows them to practice their pouring skills in a safe and controlled environment. All you need is a child sized pitcher, a bowl or cup, and a tray. Fill the pitcher with water and place it on the tray along with the bowl. Show your toddler how to pour water from the pitcher into the bowl. If you find that water is a bit too messy, you can always pour other things like beans or rice, but I would say toddlers generally enjoy water more as they like water play. This activity not only helps with fine motor skills, but also encourages concentration and focus. The second activity is a transfer station. This activity is perfect for developing hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. You need two bowls, a spoon, and some small objects like beans or beans. Place the objects in one bowl and the empty bowl next to it. Show your toddler how to use the spoon to transfer the objects from one bowl to the other. If you have more than one child, you can have the older sibling demonstrate as well. My son was quite eager to show his little sister and I found that my daughter generally enjoys mimicking his older brother so it can be a useful teaching tool. This can also be done with a variety of small objects and you can adjust the size of the spoon to make it more challenging. The third activity is building blocks. Provide your toddler with a variety of wooden or foam blocks and let them explore and build on their own. It might not seem like it, but the simple process of playing building blocks teaches your toddlers a variety of skills. First, it helps them develop their spatial awareness and understanding of shapes and sizes. As they experiment with the different blocks, they learn how to manipulate them and create structures. In addition, building blocks can also help toddlers develop their problem solving skills. As they make various structures, they encounter challenges such as balancing blocks and fitting them together. They learn to problem solve and to use trial and error to find solutions to these challenges. Finally, if you provide your toddler with pictures or cards with designs for them to replicate, it also helps them develop their visual perception and fine motor skills. They learn to match the blocks with the picture and manipulate them to create the design which helps with their hand-eye coordination and dexterity. The fourth activity is tonging. This activity is excellent for developing fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. All you need is a pair of tongs and some small objects like pom-poms or cotton balls. Show your toddler how to use the tongs to pick up the objects and transfer them into another bowl or container. You can make this activity more challenging by using smaller or irregular shaped objects. This is a fairly difficult task as it might take several attempts before your little one gets it. So don't be discouraged if they don't want to do this or any of the other activities I mentioned in this video. Even with my son demonstrating for my daughter, she didn't care to take over. But my three-year-old son still has fun doing it. The fifth activity is sorting. This activity is great for developing categorization skills and helps with visualization. You need a sorting tray or bowl and a variety of small objects with different colors, shapes, or textures. Show your toddler how to sort the objects into different compartments of the tray based on their characteristics. You can adjust the level of difficulty by adding more categories or by making the objects more similar. Remember, Montessori activities are all about fostering independence, concentration, and self-motivation. So let your toddler explore and discover the world around them at their own pace. And if you have any other Montessori activities that you'd like to share, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Montessori parenting tips, and I'll see you in the next one.